Well, if anything, this bike is going to require a little bit of work now. New grips. There's a squeaking coming from my some gear. Oh, that was happening even before the crash. Scraped up my fork seals real good. This is the first time I've ever, I mean, not my fork seals, my fork sticker. Jesus, if I scratched the seals, I'd be sad. So I think this is the first time I've ever crashed this bike like that. Like, I mean, I've, I don't think I've even crashed on it like that before. I mean, I, I think I recall sliding out once because a bee was in my face, but no, that wasn't even this bike. That was my GT Aggressor Pro. I've never crashed this bike like that before. Never. That was the first time in like two years. Two years of having this bike. I never crashed it until today. I guess I can consider it broken in now. <laughs> It's crash proof. I was expected, it's getting dark. But we're semi close to being done. I'm out of water too, so. <laughs> Gotta keep rolling with this. No incidents, mechanical failure. Plus, I got a date with my grill tonight. Making a. Uh, some Wagyu burgers. American Wagyu, it's all I can find. Without having to go hunt it down. Wagyu burgers. Corn cob. Enjoying, uh, I was really getting into grilling before I left for this work trip. And uh, now that I'm back here, Getting back to it for a little bit. It's coming to an end. We got Figure your feet, maybe, and that's it. <clears throat> I swam all these off mountain for quite a while, and it's not forever. I'll be back. I hope one day this channel can be something a lot more than just something I just do for fun. I want it to be a like a professional looking hobby, you know. I know it'll never pay the bills to that sort of degree, but just as a hobby that I actually take seriously. I want it to be like that one these days. Alright, maybe a little bit more than 300 feet. Forgot about the second, uh, the second bar. Ah, this section. I almost made it. Flared it before, it's just difficult and I'm wiped I think uh, everyone will forgive me for just <laughs> kind of taking it easy this morning These are the main trails I used to ride all the time coming up here. Like I've ridden others. All the others I've ridden are up on this channel. These two 
and I don't think I even have that many videos up showcasing this trail. I mean, I know the, the video I did on the recoil stem, I think I rode Beverly Canyon for a little bit, a long time ago, but I don't have any Desert Classic trails up, or Desert Classic trail videos up, pardon. I remember I tried recording them <laughs> when I was first started getting into this trying to perfect my camera setup trying to spend as little money as possible I used a phone mount once to record it didn't come out GoPro Hero 7 Silver looked like crap and eventually I just said ah f*** it I'm getting the Hero 7 Black because the only camera that will do it and that's what I've used for most of these videos camera kind of keep it around like i said i'm going to use it as like an auxiliary camera probably mount it like facing to the rear or something maybe on the bottom bracket somewhere where it can uh, where you can see my pedals that'd be pretty cool just got to figure out the mounting setup and the hardware that's something for another day though another time GoPro ran out of gas just as I was about to pull off this trail. <sighs> I like that the new, I mean, I like that you don't have to use a housing for the new GoPro Hero 8, because, or, well, it's not new anymore, but I like that um, you don't need a housing for it because you can just, you don't even have to take it off your chest mount. You can just literally pop the side open. And put a new battery in unfortunately that side piece is not actually secure to the gopro it can pop off and it has been popping off like and falling on the ground every time i change my camera it's not a, a my camera battery it's not a huge problem it's just low key like one of those things that would have been really easy to make better all right let's pull out the trail Get to the fire road and see. Dusk on South Mountain. It's beautiful, it's peaceful, it's quiet, it smells fresh. I can smell all the cacti and everything. That's not that fresh. It's desert smell. Desert dwellers, y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, in keeping with tradition, I know we're not starting from the very top, but we got a bomb. What is here? Use this last of my strength. Hit this fire road fast and hard. Like I said, I gotta do it every time. Even though we're only doing half of it, still. Oh, why does it have to be an uphill? <laughs> Killing my vibe. Oh, okay. That's better on the full suspension. Oh, 
And that's it. So she wrote, man. Go down this little uh, side street thing, side trail. Right until dark. <laughs> this trip wouldn't have it any other way. I love the sound of my cassette, man. I know a lot of people don't like the sound of the cassette in mountain biking videos, but I love it. This makes it sound so much more authentic to me. Almost soothing in a way. I used to be able to ride like straight through these bushes on the right. <laughs> kind of cool. So all I know is that the little, little jump hill has been cut down. Doesn't, I can already tell from here it doesn't look like it, but yeah, it's not. Sad. Right here, this hill, this tree didn't used to be hanging so low underneath it. So you could actually go up and jump it. I did that once. Freak me the f out. But then afterwards the tree grew out and they never cut it back down so you couldn't really dump it anymore. Just a little fun, fun little feature to uh, finish the ride off with. But yeah, that's it. I'm parked out front and uh, I think that concludes this ride. Holy sh First time in South Mountain. It was a freaking adventure. First time I've been in quite a while at least. That was a sweet ride. So, first time been on South Mountain basically all year. Last time I'm gonna be on it for a while. Successful ride, eh, a little bit of a mishap with falling. Palms are doing okay. There's no break, there's no scan or anything. They're just a little bit bruised up. Be fine, it'll be on a couple days. Um, and you finish this ride off. How should I finish it off? Well, I know what's popular is getting McDonald's after rides, and I did that after Sedona. Um, I've started a little bit of a different tradition. Let me show you. super dark i'm exhausted i'm going home quick trip frozen or chata that's what i do after every ride now get some of the sugars in sugars but it tastes good okay never mind the music all right so i'm heading home 
Uh, like I said, good ride, solid ride. It's gonna be well for him back at South Mountain. So this video, I know it's gonna be coming up. It's probably not going up until after Christmas. Um, but either way, Merry Christmas, everyone. Have a happy new year. Hopefully 2021 is a little bit better than this year. It's gotta be, we'll make it better. And um, yeah, thanks for riding with me, everyone. And uh, catch you next time. Peace.